Hey everyone, and welcome to DIY Dynamo, or for those of you interested in possibly enrolling in DIY Dynamo, welcome to future students. Uh, what I wanted to do is just sort of break down what's in the files that you will receive. I know it helps because I get a lot of questions as to how's it going to be structured, what's inside, how do I go through this, or maybe I didn't download everything. And so I just wanted to show you what's inside. So when you purchase or enroll in DIY Dynamo, what you're going to get is a zip file. And so this is the zip file here, and I've extracted the zip file into this folder here. Okay. So what we have inside is we have our modules, module 00 through module 04, uh, with 1, 2, and 3 in the middle. And we have our sample files as well as some readmes and PDFs. So the first PDF that you're going to see in here is actually the video content, which for those of you who have already looked at the video contents, this is available even online. Um, you can see it's actually the contents of video. So it's a nice little um, content overview of what you're going to see. Additionally, there is a conclusion PDF. Don't read the conclusion PDF until you've gone through everything. If you want, you can, but I would say go through all the modules first and then read the conclusion PDF. So module one, I'll just dive inside, is going to be an introduction video as well as a, a PDF readme. So every single module in here has a readme. So if I open the introduction, you can see here's Here's the uh, introduction readme. And so basically it's gonna tell you what the module is about, some important links and so on and so forth. So make sure you check out the readmes before you start going through the videos. So that's module 00, which is our introduction. Module one, we have a bunch of videos. So you'll see the PDFs for each one of these as well as a readme in here. So I'll just go through that. It tells you what it's gonna be about and so on and so forth. Module two, again, we've got a whole bunch of videos and we have a readme. So make sure you read the readme and then you go through the videos in order. Module three as well, you can see we've got all our series of videos. We have a module uh, three readme as well as the conclusion. I put the conclusion in here so you don't forget to look at it, as well as the conclusion right here. Um, we also have a bonus little package here. So there's a, a, a bonus video for you guys, or two bonus videos. So feel free to check those out. Um, inside the sample files folder, I'll double click in there. What we have here is we actually have the Dynamo Cheat Sheet. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, hopefully you have because there's I've been sort of talking about it forever now. But if you haven't downloaded it, I have it there for your reference as well. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll just quickly open it. It's got a whole bunch of node notes. It's got some keyboard shortcuts and some um, important packages that you should install. What's kind of cool is once you've gone through the modules, if you go back and you look at this, I think the node notes are gonna make a lot more sense to you as opposed to if you looked at them before running through this entire series. Um, so we also have some Excel files. These are going to go along with um, a couple of the modules. So leave those where they are, but feel free to um, uh, look at them if you want. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be writing information to each of those Excel files. I have a few Revit files for you, and these are Revit files that are going to go along with the along with the modules. So as you're working along with me, I'll tell you which file I'm in and you can use those. Um, you do have the ability to just sort of use any Revit file, but there are some families and information that you might want to use in the sample files. Um, I have all the Dynamo scripts. So these are .dyn files. So if you're feeling like you're getting stuck or maybe uh, something's not working and you're working, you're working your way through it, um, you can open all these files and take a look at how I did them. These should all be fully working scripts. If they're not, feel free to email me, but I'm pretty sure um, based on the videos, they all work during the video, so I would assume that they work here. But you've got all the actual DIY, DYN scripts. But what I've also done is some of the more important ones, I've actually made what I call snippets. And so these are actually just simple PNG files. But if I was to open one of these here, they're PNG files that actually show all of the scripts. So I'll quickly run through that, you can see. So these are, these are pretty cool because um, if you're working through it and you don't want to open the DYN file, you can check out the image file. And then you have the ability to remake it looking for the specific nodes and it, it helps as a guide as well as these can be printed out so you can look at them on your desktop while you're following along the video or trying to build the script. Um, so that's really the rundown of the whole package. Um, I hope that helps and I hope that gives you a glimpse inside what's there. Um, so feel free to email me or tweet at me at the Revit Kid and uh, ask any questions and I hope to see you guys uh, during this enrollment period during my Facebook Live um, office hours or within the community because I really want this one to be a, a, a community effort and um, I really want you guys to learn this stuff and push forward. So again, thanks for following along and um, I hope to see you all on the other side. 
and head on over to DIYDynamo.com to uh, find out more about the course.